Hello, hello. How well, are you? Thanks for joining us. Um, so as I mentioned before, uh, walking the Norfolk Coastal Path. You can see by the background here, we are at Sunny Honey, Hunstanton, and ready to start. So, yeah. I thought I'd better mention, um, this is Aaron. He's going to be walking with me, a good friend of mine. Um, he's a bit of a wizard and a guru with all things outdoors. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, anything I don't know that he does, uh, which is brilliant. So yeah, you'll be seeing a bit more of him hopefully as well. Uh, so we just made our first quick stop. We're here at the uh, the lighthouse sta li lifeboat station in Old Huntington, um, and I'm going to give a, a quick cheeky shout out to the uh, the old the old old boathouse old, cafe. Old boathouse cafe. Uh, it turns out an old school friend owns it and runs it. So you've got to stop in and uh, get yourself a tea and some some cake. Yeah, that's the place to go. Uh, also, a handy place if you've got a quick toilet stop public convenience and there's a nice place to fill up your water bowl if you need to at this point which you shouldn't so. anyway on with the walk oh we have the yeah there we go look young lady there the RNLI shop um <laughs> caught me out on that one right we'll keep going welcome back um we just made a, a quick lunch stop um <laughs> we made very slow progress this morning uh we've been enjoying the beach um Looking for looking for some edibles and sort of educating each other on what's up and down here. Um, we are, hang on, if I just get the map, we are just outside Holm next to sea. So we've we've only really done like uh, two or three miles in in about two two and a half hours. Um, so yeah, very slow progress. But that wasn't the purpose of the journey. We're um, here to enjoy it this time. And see what we can find. Aaron is just off up the beach though, somewhere at the minute. Uh, he's dropped his pack. He's gone looking for one of the little plastic foot um, feet for his walking poles because we will need them on the uh, on the path section later on. So um, I thought I'd take this opportunity to stop and film a bit more. We are now coming up to um, Holm Nature Reserve, Holm Dunes, and I believe there is uh, a water supply point there um there's an outdoor tap so we'll uh we'll film that when we get there for you guys so you know where um what points are and and resources are uh, for when you have a go hopefully you'll um you'll follow our footsteps and come and enjoy this beautiful coastline so, there we go it's lovely it is lovely So we are at the Holm Dunes Nature Reserve, um, the cafe there, and there are um, eco toilets here as well. So if you do want to stop off and empty out and refill at the same time, then uh, here's a place to do it. Uh, nice cafe. Again, your cheese and your coffee, the cream buns, if you're uh, if you're not carrying all your food with you. So it's a lovely little location. Aaron's just kicking the sand out of his boots. Yeah. All right. Um... I don't know what you want me to say, really. Well, we're, just we're tell, tell us about the cafe. Tell us yeah, what you're... so we're here at the um, Home Dunes sort of Nature Reserve, the cafe here. We just had a lovely chat with the um, one of the members of staff here. They were saying that uh, the cafe is open at the weekends at the moment, um, but from April to October, it's open every day for those people who want to come down. We've got a nice bit of parking here and access to the beach. Sea Henge is just down the road here as well as a sight to see, so... Awesome. Cool. Cheers, chap.
Hello. Uh, so yeah, we've just made it to our campsite. Um, we decided not to rough it tonight. We're uh, we're going for a bit of luxury, so we're here uh, at Deepdale Backpackers. Um, you can see us set up. Let's go have a look. Let's go have a look at the setup tonight. Let's, Aaron's just uh, put his bag away. We're going to go uh, top up on some whiskey. We've had a, had a lovely long walk today. There we go. So uh, Aaron's in the uh, Wild Country to Zephyros. Yeah, and I've got my OEX Fox, as you saw in an earlier episode. Uh, that's the EV2 version. Uh, so we're just going to go over to the shops. It's quite a nice little stop here. Um, you've got everything you need for your, for your coastal walk. You've got shower blocks. Um, we've got water facilities. We've got shops. We've got the work. So anything you need, uh, Deep Dow Backpackers can provide, which is brilliant. Um, I'll try and get some links in the in the um, description at the bottom so you can look at these as well. Um, we have walked from, uh, I'd say, 11 o'clock today, and the time is now, uh, it's now 20 past five, so five o'clock we got here. Um, we did fart around quite a bit earlier on. Um, we could have got here much earlier. Um, so I'd say about six hours. Would you say six hours from Hunstanton? No, not even that. Yeah, six hours from Hunstanton, so it's a nice, it's a nice walk. There's no no um, rush, no heavy pace, um, and the weather conditions have been really good today as well. It's been bright and breezy, and the breeze has almost kept us cool. Uh, I think we've really got a little bit too hot uh, in the summer months, so. but yeah, really nice. Uh, we're going to get the whiskey. We'll uh, we'll catch you later. Good evening, good evening. We are we are comfortably numb. Thank you to uh, Jameson's special special thank you to Jameson's Whiskey Distillery, um, and and the Scotch Blend Company. The Scotch Blend, <laughs> the, the unnamed Scotch Blend the Company. Unnamed Scotch Blend Company have made us very comfortable tonight. Um, I don't think we would have slept um, particularly well without them. So thank you very much. Um, <laughs> As a YouTuber, we're welcome to any uh, freebies you'd like to send our <laughs> way. <laughs> uh, uh, we'd be willing to test them out and review them thoroughly for you. Um, no, on a serious note, we are we're we're here at the um, the Deepdale uh, Backpackers um, Hostel. Uh, we're not in the hostel. We are on the campsite. We've got our tent set up. Um, and I've got to say, it is a fantastic facility here. Uh, they do have the facility. Um, for for um, hostels, if you see uh, behind us all the uh, accommodation surrounding us, and they've got uh, the benches that we're on. Ooh, excuse me, the fire pits in the background there. So you can you can still do sort of the semi camping experience here, um, just staying in something slightly comfier uh, if you're so inclined. However, uh, we are doing it properly. <laughs> um, we weren't expecting quite such luxury. No. But since we we wound up only a couple of miles from here, around about the time we were planning on finishing anyway, we decided we were going to do that little bit extra and and come here. And I'm very glad we did because yeah. the the toilet and shower box are outstanding. Flipping brilliant. They're outstanding. Yeah. You, you can swear. It's fine. Um, yeah. No, they are fucking good. Um, Really good. You got heated bathrooms. Um, the toilet. It's a, it's a big wet room with a toilet and the shower in there. Um, so it's all included. Um, it's nice to come to somewhere warm at the end of the day. Um, the facilities here. You've got a shop nearby. Um, does all the all the all the uh, the basics. Um, we picked up picked some bacon up for the morning. Um, just for a little treat. Uh, rather than the uh, the. the the, the sachet porridge that we were having. We were going to have gruel. Now we're going to have bacon and eggs. <laughs> so, so yeah, it's, it's well worth if you're doing the Norfolk Coastal Path coming to, to Deep Gower Backpackers. Uh, I think we've covered around 12 miles today. We set off around about 11 o'clock. Um, we got here around about 5 o'clock. We did mess around a bit on the beach. We spent a bit of time uh, looking at foraging and stuff like that. So... Um, trying we, to find razor clams. Razor clams, yeah. It's yeah. a little bit early in the season, I believe. 
Um, but yeah, you know, um, we've had a good time of it, and um, it's well worth stopping here. Even if you plan on wild camping, I think you should make this your priority to get here for your first night. Um, and and 12 cities. miles is a, is a comfortable distance to do in a day. It's not, yeah. uh, you know, you're not breaking your back to get here. Uh, no. You know, it's it's been good. It's we we could have we could have got here much earlier if we if we'd have just walked direct. So definitely worth stopping here. Even if you're not camping here, um, I know from previous experience of walking the coastline here, you can wild camp in the dunes and dare I say it, the nature reserve. Um, however, um, don't get caught. You do so at your own risk, and we do not in any way, shape, or form endorse <laughs> wild camping on a nature reserve. No. Um, however, however it is possible. It is possible. Um, it's worth stopping here. You'll, you'll be much happier to stop here. So, um, You've got water supply here. Even if you're not camping here, you can you can fill up on water. You can fill up on food. There's pubs. We came through the villages of Titchwell and Thornham, um, and they both have um, pubs and shops that you can stop at for supplies as well if you need to. Um, yeah, I think that's it for this evening. We're yeah. we're done. <laughs> Comfortably numb. One last whiskey before bed. Um, I'm already wearing my blanket. You are wearing your blanket. I think, <laughs> I think we're looking. It's, it's around nine, half nine ish. We're getting an early night. We're, we're, we're going to make it to Wells tomorrow. That's our pickup point. Is Wells. Um, so another another nine miles, I think it is tomorrow. So not quite as much, uh, but yeah. we will be leaving earlier yeah. and finishing earlier. Um, and then I'll fill you in next time um, on the next stretch. But for now, we'll see you in the morning. And thank you for watching. <laughs>